the sun, the most important star in our universe. Today we'll look at the corona, an area of the sun hundreds of times hotter than the surface. There are a wide range of temperatures with the sun. We start with the center of the sun, which is about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. As you move out towards the outer layer, it becomes less dense. The surface of the sun reaches 5 to 10,000 degrees, but in contrast, the corona can reach millions of degrees. This is referred to by scientists as the coronal heating problem. Scientists do not fully understand this phenomena. If you think about a fire, the closer you get to the fire, the hotter it will be due to radiant energy. However, this is the opposite of what occurs on the sun. The corona is in fact around more than a million degrees, and this is incredible given the fact that the sun's surface is only around 5 to 10,000. To put this in perspective, let's take a look at lightning. When lightning strikes, it can heat the air to more than 50,000 degrees. The sun's surface is about five times cooler than this, with the corona being hundreds of times hotter. The corona is very dim, and it wasn't even known for a long time. It was discovered during solar eclipses, where it could be seen with the naked eye. The visibility was due to the moon blocking out most of the brightest parts of the sun. So what is the source of all of this heat? Scientists used data from the instruments on board the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, or SOHO. Solar physicists have identified small patches of magnetic field covering the entire surface of the sun. These patches seem to appear and disappear randomly on scales on the order of 40 hours. This is contrary to the bright, large magnetic field loops, which are linked to the active regions during periods of solar maxima. You can see spectacular giant loops in the ultraviolet and x-rays. But there was a problem with this theory. Those giant loops disappear during the solar minima, while the corona does not. Scientists now think that this magnetic carpet is probably the source of the corona's heat instead of the large magnetic loops. The corona extends far out into space, up to one million kilometers from the surface. From it comes the solar wind that travels through our solar system. The corona's temperature causes its particles to move at very high speeds. These speeds are so high that the particles can escape the sun's gravity, and this is what causes the solar wind. Here you can see how that solar wind can affect the tail of a comet as it penetrates its tail and separates it into layers.